Hey everyone, another day, another update. Let's hop inside the Model 3 and take a look at what's new. All right, so we are on version 2020.24.6. Dot four. So it's quite a long one, uh, but let's take a look at what the release notes say. So first up, the most exciting improvement they got uh, is the backup camera improvements. So that's that here, the first one here. So now when you put it into reverse, or if you tap the camera icon down here, uh, you have the option of bringing up the side repeater, so the left one and the right one. Uh, I have driven with this for a little while now, and I've noticed that they're not particularly useful when you're driving. Uh, because the image is kind of small in the lower left and right corner and when you're driving you're mostly looking through the front windscreen so you're not really looking down uh, at the screen and I found that the body of the car is quite reflective so even though the cameras are there it's hard to actually see if there's an object that is getting close to the car because the, the car you know the body of the car is so reflective the next improvement we have is the dash cam viewer improvements. So this is uh, long awaited. So now on the um, timeline or the, the playback bar, I'm not sure what it's called, uh, but there's a little red dot, which tells you that um, that's exactly the point where the event happened. So that's the metadata that it saves onto the disc. Uh, and then from there, it will actually display the red dot on the screen, which is pretty cool. Now there's tune in improvements, which I don't really use. And then there's walk away uh, door lock improvements. So now you can actually tell it to not lock your car if you are at your home location, which is pretty good. And then new language support. Uh, and unfortunately, I don't speak these languages. So let's take a deeper dive at some of these improvements. So let's start by pulling up the camera. So this is what it looks like. Uh, by default, it just shows you this. So just the backup one, but down the bottom here, you'll see that there is a little arrow that was bouncing up and down. So either you tap the arrow or you can just kind of swipe up and it will actually show you the, the side repeaters like this as well. So left one, left one here and the right one there. So as you can probably tell, I'm not sure if you can tell, but maybe I can get a closer look here. So as you can probably tell, um, the, the body of the car is, is quite reflective. So this is the body of the car here might not be able to see on the camera, but it looks like it's part of the, the road. So it's actually quite hard to see where the body starts and the road ends and so on. So yeah, it's not particularly useful if you're driving, but in a reversing scenario, uh, I can see how this can help. So if you have a smaller object, maybe a small pole that's on the, the left or the right side of the car, um, the side repeaters may be able to help you spot that and help hopefully avoid an, an accident. Now, when viewing the repeater cameras at night, uh, I noticed that when you turn the blinkers on, it kind of blinds the camera a little bit. So if I indicate right here, notice that the uh, right repeater, the flashing actually semi-blinds the camera. Uh, but this is not a problem during the day. Uh, during the day, you can't see the flashing at all. Okay, so next we have the dash cam improvements. So this is just a recent clip, uh, not very helpful. But we should find some Sentry clips here. So I went to Eastwood recently. Uh, also, let's try this one. Uh, so there's some rain, but it's okay. So it shows a red dot where the event occurred, which is really nice. And it also starts the clip about, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute before the red dot. So let's try to skip a little bit closer and see if we can see what's going on here. So I think that's as close as I can get Oh, I got, oh, that's pretty good. I got pretty close. Okay, so let's see if we can see what triggered uh, the sentry mode event. So, oh, there we go. So it's just these guys walking in front of the car. Uh, I think the headlights flashed, so they, they got scared a little bit. Um, and now they're looking at the car. Uh, yeah, so that's that's what triggered it. So that, that's really nice. Uh, instead of trying to scrub through the whole, you know, 10 minute clip, you can just kind of tap close to the red dot and then it'll show you exactly uh, what caused the event. So that's about it for the updates in uh, this version. I hope this was useful and thanks for watching.